Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on a ton of Steam sales running right now. Now, right off the top, we have the Game Awards sale that has kicked off. It's more of an event, um, since if you go on to the event, not everything is discounted. It might be a case of uh, stuff is still going live, but uh, there's a ton of good stuff that is being discounted. So we'll talk about that, a good franchise sale, and a bunch of other deals to note as well, midweek offers. The whole nine yards, you get the idea. So if you go into the Game Awards sale, right off the top, we see Star Wars Jedi Survivor. It is 45% off for $38.49. Starting to get uh, to a pretty good price point where I can recommend it. And also, uh, the PC version is getting better. And best of all, like, uh, yeah, that is best of all, actually. The PC version is getting better. I, I have nothing else to add uh, because Jedi Survivor is one of my top games of the year. And really, my main issue with the game was from a performance standpoint and EA was nice enough to send me a copy of the game so you know I do appreciate that but man the performance was just so bad that um it, it was just egregious but the game itself was absolutely excellent and if you look at it from a reception standpoint uh all-time reviews 38,000 reviews 65 percent positive and that was well under that for a long time but recent reviews 2,692 reviews, 83% positive, very positive reception. Uh, the same can be said for Last of Us Part 1, which is also actually discounted right now. Funny how that works, but uh, yeah, Jedi Survivor, uh, that's a pretty good discount as well for Jedi Survivor, given that it did start off as a $70 game, which is always going to be a little bit of a hard sell, but now $38.49, not a bad pickup there, and this is a part of the Electronic Arts Award Season Sale. Some other titles that are discounted, Immortals of Aveum. 50% off for 30 bucks. Given that this game just came out back in July, mid or excuse me, August. It came out in August on August 21st. Initially it was scheduled for July. That's a pretty damn good price. There's a lot of things about Immortals of Avam that I like. There was also quite a bit I disliked. I thought the story was awful. I thought the characters were pretty awful, but the gameplay, the visuals, those were really strong. And for 30 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. And on top of that, they recently had an update for the game. There's a demo available as well. Might be time to check that out. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, and again, a bunch of stuff discounted as a part of the EA Awards sale. Uh, outside of that, you do have Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged discounted. You've got Mortal Kombat 1 30% off at $49. Starfield 30% off for $49. Feels like, feels like that's a little bit quicker than Bethesda titles would usually be discounted. But uh, yeah, there you go with that. Diablo 4 40% off for $49. $42 recently obviously just released on Steam and that seems like a sizable discount on a game that obviously had a mixed reception but you know still Diablo 40% off on Steam kind of kind of a surreal uh, sight to see to be perfectly honest Hi-Fi Rush 25% off for $22.49 this game came out back in January but has really held up in price and you know what? It's absolutely worth $22.49. It's one of my favorite games of the year. It's an action music rhythm game, and it's such an interesting combination of the genres that you think wouldn't work, but Hi-Fi Rush absolutely nails it. 22 and change, great price on it, and I would strongly recommend that. Just an awesome, awesome game. Uh, sea of Stars, 10% off for $31.49. Uh, Cocoon is 20% off for $20. Uh, Sonic Superstars, 30% off for $42. No Man's Sky is $30. A Space for the Unbound is 14% 30, uh, 30 off as well on that. Uh, and a bunch of other deals available. Canada Bridge of Spirits is $20. Uh, you've got Guilty Gear Strive for $20. Not bad there. It takes 270 70% off. Uh, Hades for $12.49 is an awesome deal. That game is just super well received. Control Ultimate Edition is $9.99. Obviously, I talk very highly about that. Gris, 75% off for $3.74. Go check that out. Uh, Wolfenstein, 2 at 6 bucks. Hellblade Send with Sacrifice at $4.49. Witcher 3 is $9.99 for the base game. Obviously, get the complete edition inside for 2 bucks. Doom 2016 for 4 bucks, and uh, so on and so forth. So, ton of good stuff. Go check out the Game Awards sale for yourself because uh, there's certainly uh, stuff to pick up there. A couple of other stuff to note on top of the Game Awards sale. Uh, Last of Us Part 1 is discounted. It is seeing a 33% off discount, $40.19. This is another game that has had a very much, a very nice change of fortunes on its reception on PC because all-time reviews, 25,000 reviews, 66% positive. Recent reviews, get this. 
2,100 reviews, just shy of overwhelmingly positive, 94% positive reception on that one, so an even bigger turnaround than Jedi Survivor did come out a month before Jedi Survivor, but very nice to see that, uh, you know, games can get better over time. Now, Jedi, uh, Last of Us should have come out at that level, and if it did, I think it would have done much, much better, but... You know, sometimes we just can't have nice things. But uh, Last of Us Part 1, one of my favorite games of all time. I would imagine that Last of Us Part 2 is going to be coming to PC probably sometime in the summer of next year uh, after the Part 2 Remastered hits PS5. The same thing that they did with uh, Part 1's release, probably six months after uh, Part 2's release. And um, you know what? I have my opinions on Part 2, but that... Uh, that roguelike mode that they're adding, I forget what it's called off the top of my head, No Return or something like that, that mode looks awesome, so that'll be pretty cool to check out. Uh, we also have a Tales of franchise sale, Tales of Arise is 50% off for 20 bucks, Tales of Berseria at 5 bucks, Symphonia at 5 bucks, uh, Vesperia at 9.99, and Zest uh, Zestria at 4.99 as well. Let's just get Tales of Abyss on PC, and my Tales of Fandom will be satisfied as far as uh, PC goes. So good stuff there as far as the Tales of franchise sale. Another PlayStation game, Days Gone. Gone is 75% off for $12.49. Not at the level of some of the best uh, PlayStation titles, but still pretty damn good. And a lot of the issues of that game are remedied with the fact that the PC version eliminates a lot of the technical issues. Um, it still has some other issues. A game that overstays its welcome in terms of length. Like, it could have actually done a little bit better if they shaved some content off, but... For this price, $12.49, I think it's quite good. Uh, we do have a Metro Series franchise sale. Metro Exodus, the base game is 6 bucks. Exodus Gold is $8. But if you want to check out everything, the Saga Bundle is what you should be looking at. 89% off for $9.07. Awesome deal there. I definitely would recommend that, but if you do want to just start off with 2033, that's a buck 99 for the Redux version. Last Light Redux, a buck 99 as well. So good deals there if you do want to check out Metro for the few of you that haven't. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy, 40% off for $36. This is a part of the Game Awards sale as well. Uh, really enjoyed the game. One of my top games of the year. Not really in the mix for my game of the year. Probably like just the tier below that, but I really enjoyed it. I'm not a Harry Potter fan whatsoever, and I thought the the magical gameplay and all of those elements worked out really, really well. So definitely would give this a recommendation. And honestly, uh, seeing a deeper discount and a quicker discount than I would have expected. I know it came out back in February, but I really thought this was going to hold up in price for a long time. And, uh, you know, not a gigantic discount in the sense that it's 80% off or anything like that, but for 36 bucks is very much worth it. And lastly, we have Sifu, 50% off for $19.99 as well. Recently dropped on Steam. A lot of updates rolled out as well. The final content update for that also did drop. And uh, for 20 bucks, not a bad price. Was an EGS exclusive for a while, so I know some of you guys have your opinions on not supporting games that were former EGS exclusives, but for 20 bucks, I think that's a pretty good deal. That is going to do it for me again. A ton of great Steam deals across the board right now. This is all uh, before the gargantuan winter sale that will be kicking off later this month, and obviously I'll have in-depth coverage of that, but for now, there's still a lot of good stuff. Check out everything. Links in the description box below. As always, that's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.